Making Logo Designs just got fast out with the new logo package, Forge. It's a new extension you can use to generate multiple logos, not just logo marks, but logo types, and it will create all the variations with all the different fonts. It's a new product from the team at Logo Package Express. If you've seen some of my other videos, I break down how to use some of the other extensions, but this is a brand new one. And for this week only, it's 40% off. I will put my affiliate link in the description below. You can also use the code launch40. So boot up Illustrator and in Illustrator, you can go to extensions and go to Logo Package. Each forge. Now I do have a logo mark here. I'm going to show you how to use it. You've got three tabs up the top. So you've got fonts, logo type, and logo mark. Then you've got a sidebar on the left in fonts. And here's where you can control all your fonts and pick what different fonts you want and put them into different sets or groups. So I can click on all fonts and you can see, I can see all my fonts here. If I want to hide fonts, I can click the little eyeball and that, that will hide it. And you can see on the left, there's a hidden um, tab that will just show all the hidden fonts and this will just make it a bit more easier to search for what you want because realistically we only probably use like 50 fonts um, for projects because you know everyone's got their favorites so you can scroll through and look at all your fonts here and then if you go down you can actually create sets so i've created three sets here i've got tech i've got elegant and i've got serif so you've got three tabs here you've got fonts logo type and logo mark i'm going to show you what you can do with the fonts tab Basically, you can see all your fonts on the left-hand side. You can see the tab all fonts. You've got your favorites and hidden. So in all fonts, I can scroll through on the right-hand side and see all these fonts. I can click on the little eyeball if I want to hide fonts that I don't use much. So for example, maybe these ones, I can just hide all of those ones by clicking that and then it should go into the hidden tab. So if you want to reactivate or unhide them, you can just go to the hidden tab and click the eyeball and that will reload that font back into the all fonts. You can also click the little star as well. If you have fonts that are your favorites, you can just click the star. So maybe I want to search for a font. I just type in the font name in the search bar, and then I can click the star on Sora, and then that will load up into my favorites, and you can have as many favorites as you want, basically. And then make sure I'm going to backspace on the search bar so then I can see all my fonts. Now with this, you can actually create sets, which are basically folders. And I've got a tech folder, elegant folder, and a serif. I can actually click new set by going down to the bottom and click the little plus, and I can create a set. And we can just call this, uh, say, sans serif, press enter. And the little number next to it tells you how many fonts are in that folder. So what we wanna do to make uh, our logo generation a lot faster, we need to put fonts within these folders, all these sets. So for example, in the sans serif, let's just search for a few fonts and I'm gonna go drag and drop that into that folder. I'll grab another one, drag that in and I can scroll through and even just drag in straight from here. Maybe there's an elegant font that I like here. I'll put that, drag that into the elegant folder. And so what you wanna do is you wanna have five to 10 fonts that you wanna use for your brand or design, logo design project. So then you can have a bunch of different variations. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some into these folders and then we'll continue to the next part. Cool, so I've got four sets here. I've got tech, elegant, and serif, and I can click on the folders and see what fonts are inside of there. You can actually click the little X and it'll get rid of it. It'll take it out of that set. And then you can go and add uh, other fonts if you want. You can add, uh, I'm pretty sure you can add as many fonts as you want. I'd probably not add too many because we'll add a lot of variations to your um, project or your, or your document. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to logo type now up the top. And keep in mind also, you have this drop down menu, you can actually add different weights. So if you wanna add, you know, black, italic, bold, or whatever from your different fonts. So maybe for this one, I want like black. You can see we can use that version. Now we've got regular and black. And you can see how these ones are grayed out. It will only generate using um, those two weights there for that specific font. So let's click on logo time. Now you've got your um, paragraph character tools up the top. We can see our fonts and our sets and then also um, our fonts on the right side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add two lines. You can add three, you can add four. You can see it'll add a little scroll bar so you can add more uh, words. For me, I'm just gonna do animated uh, comics, just made up uh, that. And we can do left aligned. You can adjust the tracking if you want. Um, so maybe we want like five. Um, this will be the baseline. You can adjust that, but I'll leave that. And then you've got vertical and you've also got horizontal. So I'm gonna click on horizontal and we've got animated comics and we'll just leave the color black. But if you click this little circle, you can actually change the color to whatever you want. But for now, I'm gonna leave that and I'm going to use the tech folder and I'm gonna click make logos. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna forge different variations based on how many fonts are in that folder. So there's five fonts and it's gonna create five different logos. So we can see you've got 
this one with the first font, it generated another one and it gives you the name at the bottom, which is really cool. And the cool thing is everything is editable. You can go in here, you can change the text. Uh, we can go in here and like edit the colors as well if we want to do that. So it's fully customizable. And I'm just going to scroll through and it gives you one D, one E as well. So pretty cool. Now, if we just go back to, back to the logo package for, we can actually click on a different set. So let's say, let's go sans serif. I'm going to click make logos. It's going to generate a whole another column using those other fonts. So we can generate so many different logos and see a bunch of fonts, how it will look like. Instead of manually dragging and changing the fonts, this is a fast way to just get a quick variations, quick glance at different fonts to see if it's gonna vibe with my logo design. Super easy to use. Now, what if we add another line and we can call it, um, call it let's just say maybe 2025, and maybe we want, I wanna see it in you know, some serif fonts. I'll click make logos, and you can see it even did one with the serif logos just like that, and it added that text. As you can see, I can click on the little bin, get rid of the 2025. I can actually change the color as well. So maybe I want to go to my swatches and let's see what color. Maybe you want to do this orange color. Press OK. I'll click make logos again. It's still on the serif set and it's going to go ahead, use the same set, but now it's using a color in the mix. And I can see what that looks like. And we can see we're starting to get this really cool grid of different logos, different designs. Now, what if I wanted to add a logo mark in the mix? I'll go back to my logo mark here and I'm gonna use this orange one and I'm gonna go to the top tab and click logo mark, select my mark and click set mark. And it should pop up on the top left here and also in my logo package for forge window. And what we can do is actually change the orientation. So we can do vertical, we can do horizontal. Let's just do vertical for now. And I'm gonna stick with the text set and I'm gonna adjust the sizing. So you can adjust the scale and also the space between the lines. So maybe the scale will go 35 and the spacing 25%. I'm going to click make logos and you're going to see what it's going to do in a few seconds. Literally it's got these logos there. You can see the space here. We can probably reduce that if we want and also the scale as well, but it's generated a bunch of different logos and you can see the weights here. If you want to see some more weights, um, like I showed you before, you can go to the font and select, you know, bold. We can click the little plus, add that. Maybe we want black as well. And maybe for, let's go to, Satoshi and maybe you want to see like a light version or something and then I'm gonna to go to the top and change the orientation to horizontal and you can click where you want it You want the logo on the left or right? Typically I use have my marks on the left and I'm gonna change the spacing 25% and the spacing again Let's go 15 click make logos and generate some new ones beautiful So now we've got more logos here because we added those two extra weights with the bold uh, and the italic Let's zoom in here and I'll show what it looks like so you can see the logo is on the left-hand side. It's also been scaled down and reduced the spacing. So it looks a lot cleaner, a lot better. This looks really cool. I love that font and the, that mark list looks really nice. And we've got some really cool designs here. Now, what if you wanted to have one font different from the other instead of both having the same weight, same font? What we can do now is I can go back to logo type. I'm going to, I'll probably just leave the, the color like that. And what I'm gonna do now is go to the left-hand side and you can see there's a little aiming icon. This is to target the font, to select it specifically to change that font. So maybe for comics, I wanna have a different font. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna choose the target font. So for this one, maybe I want it to be a light. So I'll do the Satoshi light. And for the animated font, you can see there's a folder here next to it. It says choose partner set. So for the targeted font, it will be Satoshi light. And for the non-targeted font, it's gonna be used from the tech set or whatever set I pick. So maybe I want an elegant set. So now watch what's gonna happen. When I click make logos, there's gonna be two separate fonts. So now you can see the animated is generating from the elegant font, uh, elegant set, and the comic is gonna stay the same with the Satoshi light. So you can see it's generating all the um, five elegant fonts there, as you can see, just like that. Now what if we wanted to add multiple lines Maybe I want to go like trademark and maybe I want to target both animated and comics. Um, and we want to be in binder and the other one can be a sans serif font and maybe we can go team for trademark. So we can select two lines and a click make logos. And so we've got animated comics TM. You can see they both have that be in binder regular and you can go through the logo there and the TM is changing. Um, it's generating using all the, that fonts, those fonts in the set. Super cool. And then obviously what happens is when you, it uh, reverted back because we added a line and we changed the fonts. It went back to, to the normal spacing. So we can always change that. I can go back and do like vertical and you can even do like weird 
placements of the in the icon if you want, even if you want it on the right side or whatever. And then we can click change this. Let's just go sans serif and make logos. So you can see this on, we did it back to vertical and we put the mark on the top right. Obviously, I wouldn't do this on a normal design. You can do so many different variations and look how many logos you generated in just like five minutes or 10 minutes. It's super fast. Yeah, I think this is a great extension to use alongside the Logo Package Express. And for example, maybe we love, um, you know, this logo here. I can go, then go to Logo Package Express and then I can set component. You know, I can set the logo mark, set the logo text, and it just works really well with uh, the other extensions in the suite that they have. I do have another video showing all the tools with the Logo Package Express in another, you can watch it here. I'll put it in the card to this and then we can export all these logos and get ready to do a presentation for client project or whatever. So this week only from May 12 to the 18th, they are doing a launch special, um, which I think is great. You get 40% off, use my affiliate code below. This is an, a tool that I actually use. I do actually use other tools as you can see. Um, I always use it for every identity um, project and logo design project because it just makes exporting files faster. I don't have to do everything manually. So yeah, if you do want to get it, then click the link in the description below. If you want to see some other logo design resources, I have a video right here that will show you some of my favorite ones.